Okay, so here we're going to take a look at a quick video on a so-called hidden menu. I, I don't really like that word. It's just a menu that probably most of us don't know how to access. <laughs> That's why it's hidden. But besides that, uh, this menu is called engineering menu or in some uh, Mercedes, they call it the uh, dealer menu. In this case, I'm testing it on a 2013 GLK 350. And what you got to do, take the key put it on the uh, ignition but do not start the car just one two position two leave it alone let me turn off this ac because i don't need it okay so now what we are uh want to do turn on the uh radio so the screen comes on let me turn off the volume real quick okay so now here yeah my screen is messed up a little bit but to enter that menu we have to simultaneously push and hold hang up button that you have right here number one on the number pad and the pound key or hashtag key whatever you want to call it and uh let me see if i can do that with one hand okay pound one and hang up so let me see one two three see if the screen changes give it a few seconds it should change and now we are at that screen we're talking about yeah the car is a little bit dirty but you don't need to worry about that so how you navigate uh through this screen is very easy right here with the center console you have the scroll wheel that you can rotate you can click down for uh okay and you can click back to go back but most of the time You'll just have to uh, scroll and right there that you see that R-E-T, whatever that stands for, according to Mercedes. And you get out again if you want to. But let me get back to the menu and just show you what's on that menu. Just hold it again, like I said, and wait for the screen to pop that menu. Boom. Now, in here you have system settings. Click down. You have version information, DTC, RMS, diagnostic codes, uh for whatever they stand for. As you see, we have a lot of them. Up to 2025 because my car is ahead of its time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to that RAT again to get back. MOST network. In some cars you have other options, but in this car we don't have, for example, the uh, auxiliary option anyway, because it's uh, by default active. So there's no need to have it here. Central registry, allocation table, version information, and all that stuff. I actually reset it. So yeah, you might not see a lot of numbers here. Front display. Yep, it just gives you kind of a test. Statistical logging. Start up and shut down. MOSD event, stability, table. You click here. And if you know what you're looking for, there is some kind of information that I don't have really a lot here. MOSD events and start up and shutdowns that are these old five pages here for whatever they stand for. If you understand them, you know what to do with it. And yeah, basically pretty much that's all your information that you need right here for the head unit, MOSD device, deck, instrument cluster. You can check the updates. I don't know why it said 20, it says 2011, but Probably it has a 2011 head unit, even though it's a 2013, but you know how vehicles, a lot of times they change stuff. Plus, I hit reset recently, so about that. And there is some places here that you can actually uh, hit uh, updates and all that if you know what you're doing. There's a lot of stuff that you can uh, check here, as you see. And if you don't know what it is, internet is right there. As you see, we have this stuff that we just saw already. And it is a lot of stuff here. So in HU, for example, it says FOT temperature 38 degrees, supply voltage 11.7, battery voltage 11.8. That might need to be replaced soon, but anyway, MOST device. And you have all the information about the MOST device if you need it to. So yeah, in most Mercedes, this is the code. I know it works in some of the uh, C classes, but I'm not sure in all of them but i know in a lot of mercedes the combination is just what i said it's the hang up button number one and pound button right here all at the same time until the screen changes to this stuff and you have system you have telephone that these are a lot of bluetooth settings and application commands and all that 
You have Radio FM, Weather Radio, Antenna, Sirius, if you have Sirius, EMC uh, measures, MOSD data transfer, display test, let you go here, as you see. You have all this stuff, I'm not going to play with it right now. Keypad light control, you can change that for the keypad down here. Yep, and if you get out of here, we have SWDL. If you want to update, if you have the uh, USB or the disk, you can uh, consult with Google if anybody knows how to do that and download and all that good stuff. And you have the sound here, entertainment volume, telephone volume, TA volume. You can set... How do you want the volume throughout the car? For example, front left, which is the uh, driver, parametric equalizer. You can change the filters and gain. And literally, you can make the sound system, for example, down to the percentile of your liking. And that is how good it is here. The volumes, as we saw, the phone volumes and entertainment volume itself. Minimum volume, you can go down to zero if you wish so. But in mine, I'm going to put the lower volume at 10. And the highest volume you can go, the max, is going to be 85. And this is pretty much all of it. So if you know what you're doing, as I said, you can have a lot of fun. And we are back to the radio. But yeah, I have uh, the car here. One thing you have to make sure... And especially in Mercedes, before you even put the key to the ignition and do the code and all that stuff, make sure your doors are closed because Mercedes recognizes that as a security measure. So you're not playing with that while driving or any of that. And that's why it, most of the time does not work if you are uh, with the engine on. So it's considered risky. And the same way it goes when you have the door open so make sure door is closed key is on the position two right before you have to start it and then you do the combination that i said and just go play with it i don't know what you can do with it but there is a lot of options that uh, me and a lot of you probably had no idea existed in our mercedes's but hey that's just uh, how it works and with that said i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something from this video and we will see you next time please leave the comments below if you know more than me or if you think i know something that i can let you know and we'll see you next time please like and subscribe bye